Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone. Hope you're all having a good day. We're going to be discussing Disney's big oopsie in, or yesterday, and today, because there were leaks from The Rise of Skywalker, pictures from scenes that happened in the movie. I will be discussing what the pictures have in the movies, or in these pictures, rather. <laughs> Sorry. And we will discuss it from there. I will not show these pictures. I cannot show these pictures because, well, I don't have the media for it. <laughs> the thing is, also, I don't want to get a strike on my channel. So, yeah. Let's get into it, shall we? It seems that Disney is cracking down on channels for showing these leaked pictures. They hit a couple of channels already for the leaked photos me i will be discussing spoilers because apparently they just confirm or by disney striking these channels they confirm that the spoilers are real so yes folks if you do not want to learn about any of these spoilers coming up click off now i will give you five seconds to do so and then i am getting into it so yeah five seconds starting now Five seconds are up, folks, so here we go. The first picture shows Kylo Ren and Rey standing beside one another, both with blue lightsabers. Now, does this somehow spoil the plot? No. What it does is cause a lot of, or generate a lot of theorizing and whatnot. Why does Kylo Ren have a blue lightsaber blade? Did he get rid of his red? Is he a Jedi now? Oh my gosh! Did he finally redeem himself? It's a blue lightsaber, folks. He had a blue lightsaber when he was training to be a Jedi. Maybe he never got rid of it. Maybe it's Leia's lightsaber and they have made her Jedi retconning their entire trilogy. Maybe... There could be any source of stuff about it. All I know is that it was a picture of her or Ray next to Kylo Ren, both of them wielding blue lightsaber blades. Yeah, that's all. The second one was Palpatine sitting on his throne in black and red, shooting lightning into the sky. Force lightning. Or upward from his throne. Okay. Well, you confirm the plot leaks are real, because there was a plot leak that suggested that he was doing that. Red and black robes, shooting lightning in the sky from his throne, and whatnot. So, yeah, there is that. Hmm. What could it mean? I don't know. All I know is that Disney will go after anyone who put those photos and on their videos, they will hit them with copyright strikes or whatever. So, yeah, I won't be putting those photos up on my video. Not that I could. And even if I could, I wouldn't. Because I don't want to strike against my channel. My channel's young. Anywho. Those are the spoilers for Rise of Skywalker. And Disney doing stupid or stupid stuff acting in stupidity by striking channels instead of basically saying hey you believe what you want to believe you'll see the movie and maybe it's real maybe it's not or they chose or they'll just choose to you can't show that that's part of the movie thing is folks the point i'm getting at here is Movie or movie studios actually do release deceptive link or leaks. Sometimes it's in a picture, sometimes it's a small shot here or there, and whatnot. But it shows something that people might be oh, it something to generate buzz. Now they could have easily Disney could have easily just let it go, and it could have been all right. We. Two pictures.
pictures from the Rise of Skywalker. There you go. And that was it. It could have just been, or they could have just passed it off as buzz generating. They would have gotten more people in the seats, most likely. But no, they chose to take the tyrannical route, smack a bunch of channels with copyright strikes or whatever against them. If you get three strikes on a, or three major strikes on your channel, your channel's gone. And I have not received a strike on my channel yet, thankfully. Now, Disney could have just let these be buzz generated or buzz generators, and that's it. It would have put asses in seats at the theaters. But they didn't. They chose instead to smack people with strikes and thereby confirm that these leaks are legitimate. Stupid move, Disney. Very stupid move. But hey, you guys are an evil corporation anyway, so I'll see your shitty ass movie in theaters, but I guarantee you, you won't get a dime of my money. Anyway, folks, take what you will of that, Disney. Take what you will of that. That's the video, folks. If you like this video, you all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Get this video out there if you want. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think that those are legitimate leaks? Or do you think that they aren't? Do you think that Disney shouldn't have hit copyright strikes on people for these videos or for these leaked photos? Do you think that they should have let these leaks stand for hype generation or whatnot? Or do you think that they should or that they should protect people from two small photos? Anyway, let me know down in the comments below what you think. This has been Orange Hat Reviews. I'll catch y'all on the next one.